Hey there, in this one, we're gonna be putting in a file input field um, that we can handle that data to use it in lieu of that drop zone that we did in previous videos. Um, so the part of what you're gonna learn here is um, that's important is really just getting the target from any given file input field. And that's that's kind of the critical thing here. It's actually really simple, so it's not gonna be a very long video. Um, first things first is, yes, I'm working off of previous code. Um, and all I'm gonna do here is bring in a file input. So input type equals to file. And we're gonna say accept. And what do I wanna accept? Well, I wanna accept certain kinds of file types. So I'm gonna use this accepted file types uh, string here that has multiple different file types in there. Um, and then I'm gonna bring that down into my accept. And th there we go. So I now have my file of accepted type. And then what I also wanna do is have it where if my file actually changes, I wanna, I wanna run a method. So I'm gonna go ahead and say handle file select, and that takes in the event. And in here we will say, let's just console log the event at first. Okay, so um, you know, intuitively you might say on change and use that. So handle file select on change. Come in here, we have this file select here. And uh, by default, I shouldn't actually see, you know, videos and stuff like that. I actually can't grab those, but but screenshots or PNG images, I can. So I upload that and it changes. And what do I see? Um, I see an event that actually happened, right? Um, so on, on change, it seems to be working. So let's go ahead and grab what this file is. And it's really simple. We can just say if events.target.files and events.target.files.length is greater than zero. This is basically saying, hey, make sure that there are files in here. And you know what? I wanna say multiple equals to false on here as well. So I don't want more than one file because just generally what I've been doing in this whole image upload and cropping thing is we only used one file. So this is actually not any different than what we've seen before, which was the dropping method, all right? So all of this right here is something I can absolutely do. Just come down here, paste it in. And this runs a method that we created before, which just verifies our files. And all we just do for the files in themselves is this event.target.files. So I can really just say const files equals to event.target.files. And that's probably better. And then just use it files and length. Okay. So now all of this stuff is going to work exactly like the other portion. So I can go ahead and come in here, grab something, it grabs it. I can actually run the crop and do all that. I can clear things out. Granted, it doesn't actually clear out that portion, right? So that's actually going back into using references and clearing them out otherwise. So if you were to do it with the input itself, let's just go ahead and say this dot file input ref equals to react and dot create ref. Um, then I'm gonna go ahead and just say ref equals to this dot file input ref. Okay. Uh, and then on my clear, I'll just say this dot file input ref dot current and dot value equals to null. Okay, so that, that should clear out that file input ref. So come back in here, click on it, and click on any given thing. There it is, hit clear, and it clears it out. That, that file's gone now. Um, and granted, of course, if I came in here and uploaded in a different fashion, but hit clear, I still shouldn't get an error because that value is null either way. Um, okay, cool. So that is how you would do it using just that basic file input. But I really think that the drag and drop part is just significantly better. Um, thanks so much for watching and make sure you subscribe to get everything. I'm going to be doing so much more stuff with React.js because it's just incredible. Um, if you have suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.